what's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? We are here. We are here with the one and only, the famous, the great Samuel J. What's going on, man? Uh, we got a few questions for you. Okay, this was uh written by a few of your fans. You know, we got off of social media and things like that. They were sending them in. Uh, so I'm gonna ask you these questions. And I just want you, I just want you to talk to the camera. You know what I'm saying? Talk to the people right here. Uh, and answer these questions for them. You know, I feel like it will really give you the insight. So I want to thank you. I appreciate you for even coming on the show to do this, man. You know, making uh, time out of your busy schedule. You know, I know you busy and you got a lot of things going on, man. But thank you for being here. Uh, and you said this was your first one, I believe. By the way, that was his first. This is his first one. So we we feel pretty good over here. Okay. Uh, let's get to it now. I don't want to waste no more of your time. The first question for Samuel J. Is, they say, what inspired slash inspires you? Uh, what inspired you, you know, back in the day? And what inspires you now? I would really love to know that as well. Talk to the camera for me. Hmm. So what inspires me? Well, let's start with what inspired me. Um, what inspired me back in the day? Of course, we got Michael Jackson, um, you got Prince, you know, Jimi Hendrix, uh, John Mayer, Chris Brown. Uh, man, it was a lot, you know, when I was coming up. Uh, Wayne and his creativity. Uh, it was a lot when I was coming up. Just inspired instrumentally, um, inspired. You know, when it comes to songwriters, John Mayer, Anthony Green, you know, Circus of Rock, dope at that. Um, the creative patterns, you know, in music that uh, that Rock held, Under Oath, a big one. Um, damn, maybe on the coast, uh, Beyonce is dope vocally. A shitload of uh, uh, gospel artists. Um, my favorite in particular, Jay Moss. Dope. Um, I mean, I could keep going. Music Soul Child, the list, keep going on and on. Um, but what inspires me like now? Mm, it's not too many, you know what I mean, that I can think of on the top of my head. Now that lets you know where I think, you know, music is headed, but hopefully it's coming back. Um, but it's not too much. It's not too many people that inspire. Not too many people really want to be themselves to me. Um, but Nipsey Hussle, Nipsey, definitely. Um, and John Bellion, that dude is dope. Uh, so those two actually have recently inspired me. Um, yeah, the list could keep going on with what inspired me, but as far as what inspires me right now, that's what that is. Okay, that was a real good answer. Um, you know, I like that. I like that. Definitely. I can hear that in a lot of your music. Um, so that that also leads into question number two that they had. They said, who are your influences? Um, you know, if you could just elaborate a little bit more on those. Okay, my influences... Um, it's kind of like the same thing with, you know, those that inspired me, you know what I mean? Um, I was heavily, heavily influenced, uh, by those exact same artists. Um, with a little Samuel J twist to it. So that's about it. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that. Uh. What is your music style or genre? Uh, this is a big one, you know what I mean? I feel like a lot of people have, you know, when they listen to your music and they find all kind of things. I know me, I've definitely done my research uh, on you. You know, I went back to SoundCloud, you know, to Dat Piff, and I feel like a lot of people didn't even know about those ones, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then, you know, all the way up to your Spotify and your iTunes and everything like that, you know. Um, and then your YouTube, and then I, I did research, also found out you had an old YouTube page, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll let you tell them about that if you want to, uh, but 
you know, that's that's when you start to do research. I had, yo, I had to research my man Samuel J before he walked in here. You know, I had to make this shit right. Uh, so yeah, what's your music style? What's your genre? I want to say, with that one, um, I always held myself to an indie R&B uh, style. Matter of fact, I didn't hear people would ever start using that term until I was using it. But you know, a lot of people say that, but I'm saying that shit. Uh, but I always held myself to that um, because of the music that I listened to and you know was always inspired by, um, and the fact that I was able to play guitar. And when I played guitar, I always felt like I played this like little, little indie, like little rock style. Uh, but vocally, um, it was always, you know, more more R and B, more smooth uh, sounding. So, you know, that's where I came up with that, you know, uh, any R and B. Um, but I love the fact that I do everything. You know what I mean? And and, and when it comes to labels and things like that, I mean, I, I don't know too much about it now. You know, because the music out now is like wild and all over the place. But I know, you know, when I was doing it, it was considered like a hard to market. You know what I mean? Uh wasn't marketable because, you know, my music was here and there. And, you know, I was able to do everything. You know, and me, the artist that I am, you know, I'm thinking like, damn, you could do everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um so that's like, you know, I would think that would be more marketable, but, you know, labels want this certain style, like, just to go, like, a certain way and stay in a single lane, and they box you in, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people, not even labels, a lot of people, I know people, you know what I'm saying, that have told me, like, oh, you need to just do this style, or you need to just go this way, or whatever, but that just shows you how small their head is, you know what I'm saying? They they box themselves in in their own life, and now they're trying to put me in a box, you know what I'm saying, but... I've never been like that. Uh, I've always wanted to show all that I could do. Uh, and I like what I, I love, what I do. You know what I'm saying? If I make this sound, this style, I love what I did because I touched it. You know what I'm saying? I love myself. Um, and so I, I've always done that. Like, you go back and look at my music and listen to how other songs change and listen to all the things that I do. And I rap in some stuff too. You know what I'm saying? You could just go back and be like, damn, we touched this. Damn, we touched that. Boom, we on that too. And it's all great, you know what I'm saying? Um, but if they really wanted me to pick a style, you know what I'm saying, and just stay in one lane, which I never will stay in one lane. My main one, though, in the R&B, and y'all definitely go hear that, that sound. Uh, you hear it all on my old, on my old albums. Um, but my next album, you definitely go hear it on some 2018 uh, better Samuel J type shit, uh, y'all gonna love it, that's what that is, okay, yeah, 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 see, I heard that, you know, when I was listening to everything, I like that, um, you know, and it sucks about them labels or whatever, but, hey, whatever, they missed out, because an artist like you, you don't need, you don't need all that money, you don't need nobody, you know what I mean, you don't need to do all that extreme investment, you know what I mean, they actually saving money because you could boom, 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 hit them all, but you know, okay, let's go, next question, how and when did Samuel J begin, oh, that was a rhyming one too, look, I'm about to be a rapper, you gonna put me on the track, ha, <laughs> look, how and when did Samuel J begin, let me, let me, let me hear this, okay, let's start off with how, um, I... Yeah, let's start right here. I used to always uh, want to write books. I wanted to be an author. Um, my mom's a singer. She was always singing in church. Um, so as far as the singing part, I remember my mom was coming out to hair salon one time. I was little. I was probably like six or seven. And I was singing a Fred Hammond song. And I remember she told me, oh, boy, you can sing. And that was it. You know what I mean? Like, parents, all y'all, trust me. All your child need is that little bit of honest, like, you know what I'm saying? Even if it's not honest, that little bit of, uh, of uh, you know, inspiration, that little bit of love, you know, acknowledgement, you know, them doing something 
and they're gonna take off. You feel me? Uh, uh, keep on inspiring it. Uh, so yeah, I was like six or seven. My mom said that, and you know, I looked at her like, "Oh, I can sing!" Like you know, and it was big to me because my mom's a singer. You know what I'm saying? All I did was grow up watching her sing in church. So that was the singing part. Uh, so I've been singing ever since then. Uh, and then let me see the guitar part. Okay, me and my best friends. Uh, we started a band together. Uh, and I wasn't playing uh, guitar at that time. Um, but towards like the end of that band, uh, they showed me a few chords on guitar I wanted to learn. They showed me a few chords on guitar. Um, and that was that pretty much. And then like as far as writing, even when I was in elementary school, I wanted to write all the time. You know what I'm saying? So once I realized I could put my singing with the guitar and with the writing. Once I realized I could create literally everything that I hear in my head and wanted to, um, that was that was it. Um, and as far as 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 when I want to say all that came together as one when I was about sixteen. I want to say that was like my junior year in high school. So it had to be like 2009, 2008, 2009, um, is when I started doing that. Um, yeah, I mean, that's the origin of Samuel J, if that's what you was asking. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, I like that, yeah, I was, I was on your page and I, I saw, you know, a few things, you know, about your mom, so, you know, I was able to, to really, uh, understand that whole part about you singing that's the big thing you know shout out shout out to samuel j's mom right there she do her thing uh so let me see the next question this is gonna be the last question um uh, you know i don't want to take up too much of your time and hopefully we can get you back here again you know what i'm saying because uh, i really enjoy having you on the show next one is what can you tell me that makes you unique. What can you tell me, not just me, but what can you tell your fans? What can you tell the people that makes you unique? Oh, what makes me? <laughs> Shit, a lot. Uh, first of all, it's a shitload of artists that is in this shit just for the money or just to bullshit around, just to have, you know, fun or whatever. And that's fine, like, you know what I'm saying? Get your money and have fun, whatever. But I'm a real artist, and I really love what I do. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I mean, let's say a nigga never touch a meal. Like, I'm going to be able to, like, listen to my shit. I get hyped off my shit. Like, it's not my shit. You feel me? I feel like I'm the only nigga that be in the car that's just banging this shit out. Like, it's my shit. You feel me? Singing it. Uh, So I love, I love it. You know what I'm saying? Not only that, but I do everything. I make everything. You feel me? There's a lot of artists that they just hop in the studio and the shit is there. You feel me? And they're like, oh, okay, well, you know, let me do this. Or there's a lot of artists that <clears throat> don't even write their shit. You know what I'm saying? I get, and I understand that because I get that a lot even right now. You feel me? People are like, oh, you wrote this? And I'll be like, yeah, I wrote this. Like, what you mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy how how not writing your own material is like almost like normal. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then it's it's even more crazy how like even creating creating your own material is not normal. You know what I'm saying? I create everything from the guitar to the drums to the bass to the to the key to the synth to the everything you know what i'm saying and i do my mixing you feel me before i met my engineer i was doing the whole mixing and mastering process you know what i'm saying i didn't even go to school for none of that you know what i'm saying it impressed him uh but i still do you know my own mixing and everything like that and then i'll slide it over to my engineer and then he'll add some more on it and then he'll do the master process but shit i do everything you know what i'm saying uh and that's what make me unique. Not only that, but I don't follow trends. You know what I'm saying? I don't follow what everybody does. I'm not that type of person. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've always stayed true to myself. I, I, whatever I love. Like, 
feel me? I'm not living for nobody else. And I feel like that's a big thing that people do. They live for uh for the love of everybody else. They live for the like acceptance of everybody else. And I don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't have time for that. I really don't care about that because once you accept yourself, once you believe in yourself, it don't matter like what these other people think, you know what I'm saying? Um because at the end of your life, you're going to love everything that you did. And that's exactly how I think. Um, another thing that makes me unique is is we live in a generation of followers. And I'll never be one. Uh, but like I said, I got my own style. I make my own whatever I like to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't let nobody pretty much steer me in any direction. Um whatever I feel like making, you know what I mean, um, and I do it myself, I book my shows myself, um, you know what I'm saying, I'm a one man band, I'm walking, walking one man band, you feel me, uh, but that's just the name a little bit, is what's unique about me, uh, I'm pretty sure, you know, my, my friends and my brothers and, you know, family and things like that they could tell you more um, that makes me unique but you know what I mean I'm Samuel J who else is Samuel J <laughs> man that's definitely unique about you Samuel J all right man that was all the questions that we had for today we're gonna definitely do try to get some more in here you know if y'all got questions for Samuel J hit him on his social media I'm gonna let him give give y'all all that stuff you know what I'm saying um, or you can even in the description below, you know what I'm saying? Type in some stuff down there. Uh, like the video, share it. Get more people to uh, ask questions. And then we're going to be right back. You're going to be right back here? Okay, yeah, you're going to be right back here real soon. Uh, we're going to try to get it in, in that schedule. Um, so, Samuel J, man, thank you for coming through. I really appreciate it. And uh, here you go. You can go ahead and tell the people where they can find you. You know, I'm pretty sure they already know. But tell him where they can find you and things like that, man. Oh, yeah, man. No doubt, no doubt. I appreciate you contacting me. Uh, not a lot of people know about the things you mentioned. But you know what I'm saying? Um, I'll try to be back here. Definitely. You know, I appreciate everything that y'all done did here for me. Uh, but you can find me, Samuel J. Uh, J-A-Y official. That's the Instagram. All the information uh, you says, okay, yeah, it's all the information is going to be in the description below. So y'all make sure y'all check that out. Um, and boom, hit me up. You know what I'm saying? If there's more questions, I'll be down to answer them for my mans right here. Uh, so I thank all y'all. New album is coming out soon.